Hello everybody, welcome back, and I am the Charnik, and today ladies and gentlemen, we are going to talk about Ash and Olivia's Grand Trial Ultimate Battle. Now this episode was actually probably one of my favorite battles of all time, one of my favorite double battles Ash has ever had. I like it even more than the one he had with Olympia back in XYXYZ, because that one, yeah, it was great and it required a little bit of strategy with the, uh, the foreseen attack and everything, um, foresight. Like, the fact that, you know, Pikachu had to use his little tail to time it and stuff. But, that was all great and all. But I feel like this one required a little bit more strategy. I feel like this one was a little bit more suspenseful. Because that one, I mean, Talonflame was fully evolved. Fragadier was in the picture. So, but here, we had two Pokemon that haven't even evolved yet against fully evolved Pokemon. So this one was a little bit more tense. It was a little bit more, Ash had to really go in it with a, you know, a more of a strategic mind and how to work around things. So Ruckruff and Rowlet initially went in with Rowlet helping Ruckruff off by, you know, flying him around like he did with Litten back against the battle with Lorantis. Overall, this battle to me was one of the best. I mean, just the fact that Ruckruff and Rowlet both actually got a kill, actually managed to faint, um, each respectively fainted a Pokemon on Olivia's side, when initially I thought Rowlet was going to defeat both of them, which would be the reason for why Ruckruff is so depressed or so agitated that he goes off and, you know, sees Tapu Lili about things. Perhaps that's just something that has to do with his evolution, is that's why he's running off. So, with that being said, Ruckruff was still a problem, and the, seeing his just going craziness and biting Ash's hand and just going crazy and growling at uh, Olivia and everything kind of really shows that this is going to be some serious development, not only for this episode, but the next one as well for Ruckruff. And a lot of people have been hinting at the fact that he might evolve in the next episode as well, especially due to the fact that Olivia and Kukui, after the battle, told Ash that, I mean, the way Rookruff's acting, this aggression, this violence that he has in him right now, this is a sign of that he's really close to evolving. And so, Ash looked at him, and he was like, oh, what is he going to evolve into, and etc. And from the previews, it looks like he's going to not evolve into the midday or midnight form, but something completely new. And so, there might be a new form revealed about the next Lycanroc form, you know, so Ruckruff might evolve into some kind of like twilight or dusk form, because it looks like the sunrise is setting or, you know, rising, you know, the sun is either rising or setting in the next episode, and that's when he's evolving, his eyes are glowing green, so who knows, he might turn into something completely new, but what would that look like, you know, what would that be like, what type, you know, but overall, this episode, the battle, to, to put it simply, it was... It was pretty good. I mean, like, Rugruff, even though he was being very, very violent, he was also helping Rowlet here and there by launching one of Probe Pass's, like, little nose passes into the, uh, Gyro Ball? Gyro Ball? Whatever that, uh, he was using against Rowlet and was able to defend Rowlet that way. But eventually, I got really pissed at Rugruff because he actually took out Rowlet. I think that's the first time that's ever happened. Um, on Ash's team, I gotta think back to when maybe that happened before, but Ruckruff actually, like, turned on Rowlet and attacked him, um, because Rowlet was trying to pick him up, you know, to, you know, attack that Lycanroc, but Rowlet, uh, Ruckruff didn't want help from Rowlet, so it attacked Rowlet and knocked him out, and so everyone was like, oh god, you know, like, what's happening, and they're, they're all looking at Ash to see what he was gonna do, and I think this is great development for Ash, and really great on his maturity and his, you know, capability as a trainer, that the fact that he just, he, he saw what happened, and he picked up Rowlet, and he returned him to the Pokeball, etc., and all that. But, the thing is, is Ruckruff was, all, after he did that, after he attacked Rowlet, and I was kind of pissed, I was like, Ruckruff, you little piece of crap, <laughs> like, because I, because I actually felt for Rowlet, like, Rowlet's just trying to help you, okay, and you have to attack that innocent owl, like, Oh my goodness, and Ruckruff, I'm like, dude, you just pretty much almost could have thrown the match for Ash and everything, and for Rowlet, the fact that you attacked him. So, I was kind of pissed at the time of seeing that, but then, all of a sudden, Ash, you know, got down on his arms and knees and everything, and put his butt up into the air like he did a long time ago, and he told Ruckruff, or, you know, try to motivate him and stuff with putting his tail up. 
And so Ruckruff, in response, put his tail up. And, he, you know, Ruckruff felt really, really sorry for attacking Rowlet because he looked over and he saw that Rowlet was fainted. And everyone was, like, gasping. And Ruckruff was like, oh, shoot. You know, like, what did I just do? So, overall, it, Ruckruff, at the end, brutally just finished Lycanroc. I mean, he just jumped up into the air and then used his you know, the Stone Edge or whatever, and just, just demolished Lycanroc to the ground, and just slingshotted those rocks at him, so that was intense, that was crazy, and Ruckruff was just growling the entire time, just like, focusing in on that Lycanroc, like, the entire time, not even really minding the Probopass that, Probo Pass that much, but Rowlet, though, finished off the Probo Pass with the Z-Move, so Mallow finally helped Ash perfect the Grass Z-Move, which I really, really want to see Mallow get a Z Crystal, perhaps. I don't really care about it too much, but I think, I think the fact that she knows how to do it, it kind of makes you want her to have one. Although I don't think she really, in my personal opinion, I don't really care or not if she gets one. I just want to see her become a capable grass type trino that you know she might catch that uh, that a monkey grass type, which is. You know, coming up in a couple episodes, she might catch that Pokemon. Who knows? Maybe she'll just evolve her Steny. But we do want to see more Mallow development. But uh, with that being said, Rowlet, you know, successfully was able to use the Grass type Z move and knock out the Probo Pass. Uh, so Rowlet did his part, obviously. But everyone is expecting him to, to do both. You know, take out the Lycanroc as well. But Ruckruff ended up taking out Lyc Lycanroc. So. No one really knows why he's so depressed in the next episode. Perhaps that's the fact that he's still, you know, mad at himself for hurting Rowlet. Or perhaps it's just something to do with his evolution. So you guys can post it in the comment section below. Um, obviously, he is close to it. It's probably going to be a brand new form that we've never seen before. So not the midday or midnight, but maybe something in the middle. Because it looks like it's going to happen as the sun is setting or sun is rising. You know, it's either one. But ladies and gentlemen, I love you. Can't wait to see you guys in the next episode. Post all your comments and th thoughts and feelings down in the comment section below. Make sure you follow me on Twitter if you have not yet. So you could stay up to date and talk to me personally over there. It's very much fun. I love you. Can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Peace off. Thank you very much.